Hey Fish Hunter fans, this video is about looking at the surface filter and the fish sensitivity and how it impacts your fish view. So right now I have the pro sonar floating in the water and I'm just going to click, I've already gone into the screen, I can tell I'm connected because it says switch device. So I'm just going to choose fishing so that we can get it active and we can take a look at the side menu um, and see how that works. It's on fish view right now, so it's optimizing, it's on auto setting, so it's going to optimize the range setting, it's going to start searching for fish. Looks like we're in 12 feet of water, and um, so it's looking like it's uh, seeing some fish at the surface there. And um, in some cases, surface reverb, if you're not familiar with what surface reverb looks like, this is what surface reverb looks. I put the sonar into its raw data mode, and you can actually interpret all of this information yourself and try and see um, if you see any fish sharks in the water. Now this might be a fish here um, coming across the bottom of the sonar, just sort of checking things out. But when we're talking about surface reverb, we're really talking about this sort of red, yellow, orange mixture at the top. And as you have uh, windy, wavy, you know, conditions, or you're in a very deep water, you're going to see this surface reverb can increase substantially over time based on the conditions. Now, I happen to be in very calm water, so that surface reverb is really nice. It's really thin, and that's excellent when you're uh, fishing in shallow water. But in some cases, when you go back out of this view and you go back into your fish view, you're going to see a clump of fish at the surface. And in some cases, you're going to want to eliminate or see if you can eliminate those fish. There's really two ways that you can eliminate those fish when using the Fish Hunter Pro or 3D, and that's either to adjust the surface filter or adjust the fish sensitivity slider. So right now, on the surface filter, I have it down to one foot of water. So I've got a fish there, it looks like at 1.9 feet. But if I have a lot of surface reverb and I don't really believe that's a fish, then I can turn down the surface filter. You can see at two feet, now it's not marking any fish that are less than two feet into the water. Water and it's got a clump of fish here at two feet. If I want to get rid of those fish on the fish sensitivity and say, no, I think three feet's better for me. Now I've cleaned up my screen. I have no fish showing on the screen. Let me take a look at the raw data to see if there's actually any fish there. Mm, I don't believe these are fish. There's not fish arcs here. That's just surface noise coming off the, uh, the actual sonar itself um, because I'm in this shallow water. So I've been able to get rid of that just by going into my fish view, just by playing with this setting on the surface filter, getting rid of the surface filter. Look, if I put it back to one, all those fish appear. I can just eliminate two feet of the surface. I can eliminate three feet of the surface and boom, I have a nice clean screen that's going to make sure it only recognizes um, fish when their fish are shown in the water column. So that's how you very quickly can adjust the uh, fish uh, filter, sorry, the surface filter. And the surface filter will default back to this position when I open up my uh, Fish Hunter Pro next time in the future. The other way I can also do that is I can go back to the fish uh, and the surface filter and adjust that back to one and see all those fish up there. Now I can start adjusting the power fish sensitivity slider down to one. And you can see, oh, all of my fish have gone now. And that's because I'm only marking fish of a certain size. So when I get down to fish sensitivity of one, I'm, I'm really marking very large fish. And as I go up to two, a little bit bigger, a little bit bigger to three, four, and as I go all the way to five, then I'm marking very small fish disturbances in the water. So you might ask why you're doing that. Um, obviously, if you're looking for small minnows and you're looking for sort of bait areas where your larger fish may be hanging out, having a low, uh, sorry, a high fish sensitivity is really powerful for helping you find the bigger fish. Also for uh, shrimp fishing and um, some of the other fishing uses that our sonar is used for, having high fish sensitivity allows them to pick out small bait fish and small shrimp also in the water. So these are the two ways that you can actually adjust the uh, seeing fish on your screen. I got a clump of fish there. If I don't want the first three feet of the water, Water, I can get eliminate them and then if I actually want that part of the surface but I only want big fish then I can turn the fish sensitivity down and I can get rid of the fish that way. So two excellent uh, uses of the side scale to basically personalize and give you the best possible experience when using your Fish Hunter Pro or Fish Hunter 3D.